once you got through, and there's a very small percentage of people that actually yes. make it through. True. What is what is the ballpark percentage? Well, I can give you exact. So, when buds, if you start with your class to finish with your class, you call it. We call it an iron horse. Okay. So, 136 original started. 16 of us made it, but 51 total graduated because the buds class numbers are like I was 200, so 199, 198, 197. People that got legitimately hurt and were good guys would get rolled into our classes. Okay. But start to finish, only 16 of us out so of 100. So very small percentage. Very small. Once you get through that, now what happens? So Are you... No. You finish BUDS, then you have to go through some other schools. There's a jump school you have to go through. You have to go. I had to go through a three-month diving school. I dove this little submersible underwater. Um, that's three months right in Coronado. Then, and it's changed since then because I'm old school, you, you show up at your team, and then you have to go through three months of it's called SEAL tactical training, which is advanced explosives. That's when you're really learning. BUDS is that the teach you the basics. Basic underwater demolition is what it stands for. Okay. SEAL tactical training and all the other courses are the, the advanced uh, when, applications. When you train in these uh, organizations, what does that look like? Is it 16 hours a day, six days a week, five days a week? It, 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 it would all... depend. Um, you know, normal, like if you're a jump school, it's... it's uh, I think you have Sundays off, but we're normally, you know, you're, you're turning and burning. Like seal, uh, STT, seven days a week, probably 12 hours, if not more a day, you know, you're turning and burning because when you accomplish that, then you have every, you have all the prerequisites to then go up to try to have your, your trident, the trident. Okay. So what is a trident and when did you get it? What age were you and how I long was, were you Ooh, I was 20. I'm trying to think, I remember the day. It was a 23 or 24. I was 23 years old when I received my trident. 24. So I was 24. Five or six years in? Uh, no, no. I was, well, from the military, yeah, but the process to start took me from buds to that was about two years. So I was, yeah, I was 24 when I got my trident. Um, and that's when it starts. And it's funny because everybody goes, oh, now you're an Navy SEAL. Well, guess what? That's when you have to, you know, you, you're in a platoon. You're working. Yeah, you know, we think if you're if you'd started out of all, almost 200 people, uh, only a few dozen get through. Then once the people that get through, how many Navy SEALs are there then? They're going so at any any, any certain time, ranks. there's only about two two thousand to 2,500 of us in you know, the, in the whole ex- yes. world. So there's only been about 10,000 of us total in, the, in history. Yeah. So what I always tell oh, people is, out of the 10, you get to sit beside <laughs> one right that. now. No, that's there's amazing. we're a very that's small really. group. Um, and there's other small groups out there too. SF, that's culture. That is culture, and it's a brotherhood. You know, we talk yeah. about the brotherhood. Long live the brotherhood. 